What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy Monday. I'm an eye. I'm an eye. Hope you guys are doing good and amazing. And amazing. I think some got my eye just now. But uh, anyway, hope you guys are doing very, very well on this lovely, 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 lovely Monday. First day of the week. Sucks. Just came from the weekend and all. But we are back with the F1 video five times. Hans, Harold, Fretzen. Seem the greatest. So, um, this is somebody who I didn't want to check out because I don't really know too much about him. So, you guys already know what we do. If we see somebody and I don't know who it is, either you guys will tell me or I'll do it myself. And we just and we check them out more. You know, we see what they are about. As always, don't forget to like the video and sub as well. Shout out to F1 Legends for the video. All credit goes to him. And that's it. Yep, that's it. Anyway, let's go and let's get started, man. Don't forget to like and sub. Fretzen. Oh, it seemed like he got hurt. Going crazy with Jordan. times he's seen the greatest Heinz Harrell is it ah uh, dude I'm butchering his name y'all probably gonna make fun of me y'all probably gonna you know yeah let me not even say, say his last name well if Villeneuve doesn't they'll say he has lost it all right now here's the hot lap the first one for Jack Villeneuve his teammate Heinz Harold Frenson at 2.02 I'm just here's I'm just gonna call him uh, Heinz a second a right hand sweeper now they'll come up Toward what they call the Expo 92, the Michelin Bend. Now they go. Hey, Vilna whipping this bad boy, though. A short straight down to a right hander, fifth gear at about 185. This is the Seco Pulse. Now, this is one of the few places, Jerry, they might be able to pass. Yes, they can. They're, they're at a top speed here of about 200 and nearly 300 kilometers an hour. Mickey Hacking was at 294 at one point doing that, doing that part of the race. Jesus, or track. Intermediate section, and he's still flat to the floor. Look at his hands work at that wheel. He's pushing hard, no question. Now a right-hand sweeper. Hey, Villeneuve whipping that car, though, bro. Looking back now. I don't think he's going to get it, though. Right on the right oh, he got it. Early. And he's quicker than Princeton through the intermediate, trying to beat 122.02. Jack Villeneuve. Half a second quicker there. Through the Ducados, the hairpin. Now looking for the start finish line. 122.02. Jack Villeneuve. Got him. Has the pole. Like a whole Has second. The pole by nine tenths. Like a whole second, it seemed like. Ferrari. Three tenths quicker at the last interval. Remember now, during free practice, he was ninth yesterday. He said, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. 121.07 is Villeneuve's time to beat. A little bit of understeer. 121.07. Michael Schumacher. Oh, he just failed. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Oh, this is when they both had the uh, same time, I think. Jerry Donaldson, how many times have you seen that? Never to my recollection, Vic. They timed that is, that is, that is, like, is kind of like some lucky, crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the exact same time is kind of crazy. And the disappointment, of course, in the Ferrari garage because... Upset. It goes, the times, if they're equal, it goes to the person who has, in fact, said it first. Am I right? As we said, he's come on strong. Uh, at the end of the season, and he's coming on strong at the end of this qualifying session. Boy, is he ever. Would this be something if the two Williams cars could be on the front row? Fredson, Heinz. But uh, Ferrari will be... Uh... Watch the time, 121.07. Heinz, Harold, Fredson. That's the same time, yeah. They all had the same time. <laughs> Unbelievable as 
But hold up, chat. Guys, listen. Hold on, chat. So what if an actual race and three drivers all finish at the same time? Who the hell wins? Because this was just qualies. Or practice, whatever. So imagine like, imagine like, imagine like an actual race. That would have been crazy. Mike that would have been crazy. Just can do nothing but shake his head. Three cars, three drivers, three exact time. That's lucky because we, because we uh, just saw in the last video. The drivers are in position. Hakkinen moves early. He'll charge down to La Source. Hakkinen and Coulthard side by side heading into the hairpin. Irvine's up to fourth and the McLarens have touched. Coulthard moving into the lead. Coulthard's first, Hakkinen second, Frenson's third, Irvine's fourth, Ralph Schumacher's fifth. David Coulthard, who's led from the start, comes round to take the chequered flag and his second victory of the year. With Hack the final place on the podium goes to Heinz Harold Frenson, who beat the Ferraris fair and square, giving Eddie something to that's what's up. Congrats to him on that fourth place. Frenson needs a good performance here at Imola to get his season back on the right track. At last, having no troubles either in the warm up or on the grid. Hans Harold Frenson. Schumacher slots in ahead of Frenson. Both Jordan right up there in the thick of things. Frenson very close to Schumacher, having a quick look. The Ferrari closing the door. Jack Villeneuve with a clear track in front. Frenson still staring down Schumacher's exhaust pipes. Mm. Michael with time to thank Pedro Diniz, who leaves the door open for Heinz Harold to follow through. Schumacher into the pits for the first of his two planned stops. A little extra time needed to get enough fuel on board, but still away in a shade over nine seconds. Boy, them pissed off back in the day, man. That fuel adds so much extra seconds back then. Just like, I'm not going to say like it's bad because obviously, you know, they cars back then need fuel. It's not like, it's not like how it is now, but. They're like, like compared to it back then, compared to now, like them three or four, five seconds getting taken off just for fuel, man. It's a really, really, really big difference. Such, such a big difference, man. Villeneuve right on the mark for his stop. His they got, they, they, the they, uh, they got really like fueling cars too. Maybe for like safety stuff as well. But. but away a little slower than Schumacher, rejoining behind the Ferrari of Eddie Irvine. That's not good, Jacques. It's not a good pit stop. Frenson also in for the first of his two planned stops. Leaving the pit and rejoining ahead of Schumacher in first place. First time this year, it's all down to Heinz Harold Frenson in the Williams. His last stop with 19 laps to go, with Michael Schumacher due in for his stop any second. Heinz Harold Frenson. No sign of the Ferrari yet, but Frenson away in a good second. Which track is this? There's Michael having a bit of trouble with Arini Sauber. Ooh, that car is smoking. Schumacher smoking. already at his pit marks, awaiting fuel and tires. A superb stop, just 6.9 seconds. Schumacher just 4.8 seconds behind Frenson into the last few laps. I still don't have time, I don't think, though. Four seconds. Frenson leads Schumacher close behind, but Frenson has done enough for his first win and an elated Williams pit wall. Ah, back in the day when Williams was Williams. When they were just spectacular, man. That's a f fancy the two. Start and the race is on. Hacken and waste no time charging past Zonta into turn one with Barrichello leading and Alessi close behind. Down to the hairpin again, and DC is having a look. He's got the line and he's through. Ooh, what an he overtake that Barrichello's is! Barrichello's coming back at him, but the McLaren driver has it. First place. Further back, Hakkinen's already up to sixth and challenging Schumacher for fifth. The Finn has the line and calmly takes the position of his main championship rival. Lap <laughs> 9 and Coulthard slowing. Alternator failure ending any hopes he had of taking Dang. his first win of the year here in France. Moving out from behind Frenson, Mika does it again to take third place. Come on, Frenson! John Todd's looking concerned at the prospect of rain. It could be starting, although Johnny Herbert, out on lap 4, doesn't think so. The rain is definitely coming down now, and the track conditions are quickly becoming treacherous. Mika's wasting no time putting Rubens under pressure. The McLaren driver's having a look into the Adelaide hairpin, and he's blown it. 
into a spin. Michael Schumacher, having passed Frentzen for second, now has his sights set on first place. With Hakkinen back in eighth, there's only the steward of Barrichello in the way. Out of the Brazilian slipstream, and he has the inside oh, line for the corner. Jesus. A clean move by the Ferrari number one, who now leads the French Grand Prix. And is pulling away from Barrichello at over a second a lap. The Rainmeister now looks uncatchable. But there's concern on the Ferrari pit wall. All's not well with Michael's car. He's lost a lot of time, and from nine seconds ahead, he now has the field snapping at his heels. Where's Frentzen? Barry Keller is once again leading this race. Frentzen second, but Mika Hakkinen has fought his way back and is putting the Jordan driver under pressure. Into the hairpin, Mika's favorite passing place, and Frentzen. How does Mika even see? Did you see that? How, like, blurry? Like, you couldn't even see anything. I tell you, man, F1 drivers driving the rain. Oh, man, spectacular. I tell you, man. Hardest thing to do. And it is second place. But the Finn's not finished yet. The McLaren Mercedes more than a match for the Stuart Ford down the straight, giving him the racing line into the next corner and into the lead. Stuart and McLaren still have to make another stop. Barrichello's in, and so is Mika Hakkinen. Where's Frentzen? He stayed out. The Finn stays in front, but Frentzen on a one-stopper is past them both and takes the lead. Ooh, Mika one stop. down to second. Only a few laps left. Jordan. Jordan's confident as the clouds open once again. Frentzen's lead looks safe, but Hakkinen's not far behind. Now my dog, Mika. On the last lap, and Heinz Harold Frentzen crosses the line to win the French Grand Prix. His first for Jordan and only the second of his career. That's a very, very, <coughs> oh my God, <clears throat> oh my God, that's, that's like a big risk, you know, obviously, it seemed like he was just on a one stop for that race, and even with the rain coming down, he still managed to hold on, take advantage of Schumacher's car messing up, take advantage of Mika Hakkinen coming into the pits, pits I think Barry Kello as well, and still managing to hold on, it's a big call, very, very big call, and we see with those calls, they don't always work, but. When they work, man, hey, bit of luck, bit of grace, but hey, a win's a win. They'll take it. That's a pretty big type of performance, though, man. With Hakan and second, That's tough. a terrific race by Barrichello bags the Brazilian third and the final podium spot. A fair reward for the hardworking Stewart team. A truly exciting race with eight changes of the lead between five drivers, but only one winner. Our boy Hans. Now, number one, Uno. Uno. Seconds to go. And the lights are out. A good start for Hakkinen. Too much wheel spin for Frentzen. Zanardi's having a sensational start moving up to second. That's not a good start from, from uh, Heinz. Hakkinen, Zanardi, Frentzen, Coulthard, and Schumacher together. The Ferraris are well down as half the field take a shortcut. Golly, ain't that cheating? Gene and Takagi <laughs> tussle for the same piece of road. That is them putting the Spaniard out. Riding with Frentzen right on the tail of Zanardi. He pulls alongside. The Mugen powering the German up to second place. Hakkinen's first, Frentzen's second, Zanardi's third, and there's a battle for fourth between Schumacher, Salo, and Coulthard. Three abreast as they hammer down the back straight. Now it's Schumacher and Coulthard side by side as they approach the turn. Ralph takes fourth, DC runs wide, and Salo nips past for fifth. Barrichello's having a look as well. Two Williams in the top four. Frank must be pleased. <laughs> Frank Williams, shout. And that's Rest in peace. Fisichella going straight on. A nudge of a barrier. The Italians' race is over. A blow for the team at home. Coulthard's really under pressure from Barrichello. The Brazilian's seen his opportunity and moves along. Boy, they were racing, racing the back in the day for run. real, man. The Stewart driver takes it and moves up to sixth. They were battling. The Williams drivers are running third and fourth. Schumacher makes a move and Zanardi makes it easy for him. Williams are having a sensational race. Badoa and Takagi are scrapping for 16th. Late on the Ugh. brakes by the Arrows driver, and he's taking the last place. Tora manages to continue. Halfway through now, and Hakkinen's leading this race comfortably. Zanardi's not so secure. That's Barrichello poised for another passing maneuver, pulling out and up to fourth. Lap 29, and Mika Hakkinen has an eight-second advantage. Jeez. He's got it sideways. Oh. Unbelievable. The McLaren grinds to a halt. Hakkinen showing his frustration at throwing away 10 valuable championships. Not my points. dog. Not my dog. Not my dog, Mika. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. 
It's probably one of the worst ways to lose a race potentially. <laughs> Having to spin out. Oh my god, nobody's near you. Back in and out. Brenton moves into the lead. Salo and Coulthard are in together. Look at them just being in the pits, bro. That shit's crazy back then. They've got problems with DC's fuel hose. And oh that blows god. his chances of passing Salo. The Scotsman's close behind, but that's Barrichello charging down the straight. Salo's clear, but Coulthard loses the place to the Stewart driver, dropping to fifth. The 53rd and final lap. And Heinz Harold Frenson can see the checkered flag and his second win of the season. A fantastic race for the Jordan driver, putting him in contention for the driver's title. Shout out to my dog, man. Heinz Harold Frenson. Frenson. Yeah. Hey, that's tough. That was tough. We definitely got to check him out more. We definitely got to check him out more, man. He's, he's interesting. Pause. But, you know, he's... You know. <laughs> Got a little more of him, but uh, he has some pretty good, you know, some pretty clutch wins. Obviously, the first one, which you saw, the all three gyros tied with the same lap time, which is kind of crazy. And then, you know, some some luck, you know, some some wins that came kind of luck. Obviously, Mika Hagen in this one, let's find out. You know, she might an other clip, but uh, Hines, man, shot my dog five times. He seemed just to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't, don't forget to like and sub as well. As always, take care. Stay amazing. I will see you guys soon. Peace.